everybody, my name is Phoenix and I just finished my first year at McGill University. Next year I'm planning on doing a major in physiology. So first I'll just go on to explain how registration for your first year goes at McGill just because I remember being confused when I first had to do it. So either you enter in as a U1 student or a U0 student. That all depends on how many advanced credits you have coming out of high school. So let's say you have some AP credits because you took some AP courses or you're on the Quebec side and you come from Stage Up. Then you'll usually, if you meet the threshold for the number of credits deemed by McGill, then you'll go into your U1 year straight away. But if you don't have any of those advanced credits, you'll go into your U0 year. And so I did the U0 freshman science program. The factors that I took into consideration in choosing McGill. First was the reputation of the school on a national as well as international level. That was really enticing right off the bat. Second was the fact that it's located in the city of Montreal, which is known to have really great student life, and there's always something to do in Montreal. Also was the fact that McGill is a really great research university, and since I'm on the pre-med track, I see research as a really, really valuable experience. So I can't really speak on these in a normal year because I experienced my first year online because of COVID. But in terms of teaching styles, it really depends on the prof, but usually your course is gonna follow a pretty similar outline. There's gonna be some kind of pre-lecture reading either in the textbook or in pre-lecture slides made by the prof themselves, or you watch some kind of pre-lecture videos and that's just absorbing that information on your own. And then possibly depending on the course, you'll have a pre-lecture quiz or some kind of homework or exercises to complete before class. Then in, in class, you'll have an in-lecture review of that and that's where you'll be able to ask some questions. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty fast paced, but as long as you're adaptable and you're motivated to work hard, I think you should be a-okay. In terms of evaluations, it's pretty standard. Most courses will have some kind of midterm and some kind of final. Usually the final will be cumulative. A midterm could either be one full midterm or it could be split up into two. Also, some courses have assignments. Yeah, in terms of grade distributions, for courses it'll have a pretty heavily weighted midterm and final, and then your pre-lecture quizzes will weigh five to 10%, your assignments 15 to 20%, and then if it's a course with a lab and tutorial, that'll factor into your grade as well. I'd say the workload was harder than high school since university is much more self-directed than high school is. So there's a lot less guidance. I'd say come into university with the mindset that it's going to be harder than high school because then you're gonna work harder. Study methods. So I used this year as kind of a trial year and I found the perfect study method for me. But first I started off take just like notes of my hand and I didn't really like that because I didn't like having papers all over the place and just kind of using so much paper. I transitioned to my computer and try and take notes there, but I had to take a goal math courses and all the symbols just like on the fly writing them was not efficient at all. So um, I ended up using one of the iPads we had lying at around at home and combining the computer and the iPad to kind of take my notes after class is done as a kind of review to make sure that I don't have any questions or to go over the concept that I found a little bit trickier is when I will um, write my notes by hand on the iPad. A lot of students in my particular program do use an iPad because they find that more efficient as well. Everybody has their own study method, so. For the U0 freshman program at McGill, you take four courses per semester and they come out to 17 credits total each because three of your courses are worth four credits and one of your courses are worth three credits. So the courses I took are, in first semester I took Math 139, Chem 110, Phys 101, and Bio 111. Among those, I had the option to take either Physics 101 or Physics 131 and Math 139 or Math 140. So essentially, Math 139 is Calc 1 with pre-calc, but 140 is skipping the pre-calc, so really the only difference is Math 139 has a midterm and Math 140 doesn't. 
Um, I personally took 139 because Math 140 was just full, so it just happened to work out that way. And I liked it better because my final was weighted a lot less heavy than um, it would have been if I had taken 140. Physics, um, you had the option to take Phys 101 or 131, and Phys 101 was recommended to life sciences students, and Phys 131 was recommended to students who are planning on going into like straight physics or engineering. For Bio 111, that's just organismal biology. So the four courses I took the semester after that were the same thing, a math, a chemistry, a bio, and physics. Um, I took math 141, chemistry 120, physics 102, and bio 112. So that's just math, which is calc two, chem 120, which is gen chem two, phys 102, which is intro to physics. It's electromagnetism. So just a different aspect of physics, but still really introductory level. I thought that all in all, the courses were very, very similar to the stuff that I had seen my last year of high school. It was very exercise and application based. So not too, too much reading, especially relative to my friends who are in arts. In terms of the application process to get into McGill, I come from an Ontario high school and there's different requirements depending on where you come from. So international students have very different requirements than I, for example, did. But for me, um, they look at your top six courses and in those courses, they included your for you English or French, depending on what language your school was in. My for you Calc and Vectors course, and then two of either for you Bio, for you Chem, or for you Physics. I know my average going into it was high 90s. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I looked at the statistics and last year the average for applicants to the biomedical sciences group was 94.9 percent overall in their top six for the requirements to to apply are i think an 87 percent in each math and science course courses that i suggest taking in high school again are your grade 12 bio chem and physics courses um and if you can advanced functions and calc and vectors because those courses really came in handy and there's not really any leniency in terms of the courses that you can choose to take if you're coming from like a no advanced credits background so i really had no option to, other than to take those eight courses for my entire year which was not a problem like i enjoyed them my favorite courses so and professors i really liked andrew hendry for bio 111 he was he was a really really great course coordinator i really liked pallavi serju singh for chem 110 and chem 120 she was really engaging and always seemed like she wanted to try to help um, her students succeed. I also really liked Kenneth Reagan for Phys 101. He he always tried to 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 lighten up the the Zoom call. Coming out of a U zero year, that's when you choose to major. So I chose to major in physiology, but if you're a pre med or you're planning on going the pre med track, you can really major in anything. There's obviously the pre-med track. You can also pursue further education by um, taking a master's or doing a PhD. Um, and then from there, you can do research, run your own research lab, do teaching by becoming a professor, or there's so, so much you can do. But I think the most common one when you take physiology is the, the pre-medical route or some kind of research. Do I suggest, or is it expected to do an internship? So I, definitely suggest it. I haven't even done it yet, but I highly suggest it, but it's not required. So McGill offers something called a 396 course, which is a research course that you can take and you can take it, I think in any faculty or any program that you're in. So I'll take probably a physiology 396 course, which is a, you partner with, or you ask one of your professors to take a 396 course. And it's basically a self-directed research project. So then you get really, really great experience with research. And sometimes you can take it abroad. Um, it's just uh, something that seems really intriguing to me because uh, I, I'm really interested in research. Just in the pre-med track in terms of uh, clinical research, wet and dry lab research, just, just go out there and do things. As I said before, Montreal is a really, really great student life city and I really, really enjoyed living there. So I only got to experience res with COVID. 
but I really enjoyed it. So it was really, really great for meeting people because you meet people in elevators, you meet people in the calf, you meet people everywhere. And I thought it was really, really great. There definitely is a party culture at McGill. I'm sure you've heard this, but McGill is a very more card play hard kind of school. So everybody kind of studies hard and, and gets the grades that they need to get. And then when it comes to the weekend or Friday night, that's when um, you'll still find, find, you know, a party crowd. So it's a really, really good balance. It's just about maintaining that yourself. So really, if you're in a res, just talk to people, go out of your way to just speak to people. So in elevators, don't be awkward, just say hello and people will usually reply back. Um, in the calf, waiting in line, say hi to the person in front of you and I don't know, just, just put yourself out there. And if your qualms are just like, I don't know if they're gonna reciprocate. Well, in my year, like specifically, it was COVID, so everybody wanted to make friends and everyone was putting the extra effort in. So just be aware that they are feeling the same thing as you in terms of making friends. They also want to make friends, but they're also could be shy. So just put yourself out there. From the people that I've met at McGill in person, of the limited amount of people that I saw on campus and stuff, it is really, really diverse. And especially on Zoom calls, you have people, so sometimes professors will do a poll at the beginning of the year and they'll, they'll be like, where are you coming from? Where are you joining us from? And there's people from all over the world, like India, China, like so, so many places. And, and, and it's just, it's, it's, so, it's so cool. Like I can't even imagine how it'd be like if we were in person. When you first move into res, you have a floor fellow, obviously, who's always open to listening to anything that you have to talk about. Academic support, we have something called Fresca, which is essentially the only time that I was able to participate this year was on Zoom, where we'd essentially join a Zoom call and then you'd get put into a room and then you'd be able to talk to team mentors or, or TAs and they'd be able to help you through any problem that you had. Organization tips, I say just stay on top of your work, especially if you're online, because that I think is one of the hardest parts. Self-care and mental health tips, I'd say don't feel guilty if you go hang out with friends and don't like beat yourself up if you need a break at some point. Just just take it and then when it comes to, to doing to, to doing classwork, just make sure that you you're able to focus after that. Well, all in all, I really, really enjoyed my first year at McGill. They have a really, really great biomed life sciences program, and I'm super, super excited for the next three years. Good luck if you're applying. I think that's it.